Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here back in our video. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Um, so today in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to make a proximity catalog gear giver. Now, um, this specifically is going to be a part that you're going to be able to, um, you know, put around like a model you can be able to put around your map and you are going to be able to get a gear from the catalog and the person will be able to equip this gear and um, unequip it. And if you are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. It means so much to me, everybody. Um, we're almost at 30,000, which is amazing. Um, I'm really, really happy, you guys. And if you want, feel free to join the Discord in the description because we are hosting a giveaway very soon here. And um, I am checking out some helper applications. <laughs> but yeah, so... Um, we're gonna hop straight into this. So what I want you guys to do is you're gonna go in the description and look for the model now um, It's me on the screen right now. It's me the proximity catalog gear giver now You're gonna be able to claim this download it whatever you want um, if you claim it basically we're gonna be moving into studio right here and um, Yeah, so you're gonna go into toolbox once you have this model and um, it should just be in your inventory right here And it's gonna look like this right this one right here and so you can't really see this too well, but It's gonna be like that. So you're gonna hit okay and it is going to look something like this. Now, I did graph just a free model from the toolbox, and it was like this little stand, so I thought it was kind of cool. Just, you know, might as well do something like this. But, yeah, so, it's super simple. Honestly, I made this super easy for you guys to use, but um, in here, we have just the README, and this is for people who, you know, really don't want to watch the tutorial or not. Um, this kind of gives you an idea of how to do this, but um, you're going to just delete that, um, and you can duplicate these as much as you'd like, so I just want to show you that. Um, so kind of like this and um, how this works is inside of them we have a handle a union a main part and a part the main part is going to be everything like the proximity prompt in the script the handle is going to be what we put the ID right here for so we're gonna do this together so let's say we want to do something from the catalog now I'm personally gonna go quickly to the catalog and find something I'm gonna leave one of these already as something but um, let me just go and find something real quick. You can go to featured, uh, featured gear, you know, whatever you want. Um, let's do this simple survival knife. So as you look at this right here, you're going to be grabbing a few things. You're going to grab this right here, first of all. Um, well, actually, we'll do this in a second here. You're going to be doing the mesh ID and the... Um, texture ID so you see how they kind of match so as you can see this is the handle and it's really cool how they do this you know um, you can actually even see the script which is amazing I love this about Roblox but in the mesh we have the mesh ID so I'm actually just going to copy all of this right here um, and then I'm gonna be putting that right here so as you can tell um, this is what it's gonna look like now you can size this to your liking you know mess with it how you how you want it to really look uh, let me open this back up and we're gonna get the texture ID right here so feel free to grab this texture ID um, I'll just do this one right here because that will load it in. And um, I'll just put this on the screen right here and we'll go text ID and put this right here. So there we go. That's going to display what it looks like. After you got the display part, um, if you want to delete everything else in here, you can. It's really it's really up to you. Um, see, like this is like a, you know, we got like a gold, let's say. Um, you can even make this like gold, you know, something or red, like a dark red. Um, and then this is a particle emitter. So if you want to like customize this to your liking, you can. I'll do like red particles. Um, so, uh, in the main part, we have a few things. We have an in value, a proximity prompt, and a billboard UI. In the billboard UI, it's pretty simple. It's just a name and the CD, which was a countdown, which I'm not doing. Um, so, you don't have to worry about that. But we do in here can say, like, you know, uh, knife giver. And you could do the text color. You could change it to red, like something like this. Uh, make it kind of nice like that. And then we have the asset ID. So this ID is what we're going to be using to grab from Roblox. So what I want you to do is grab this number right here in the link, and you're going to close out of that, and you're going to just put it right here. So now what it's going to do is um, it's basically going to go into catalog. It's going to grab it and put it into the game and give it to the player. Um, so that's all you really have to do. Um, the script is already made, so I'm going to show you what I mean by this. So you have a proximity prompt. There's an action test called get gear. And then there is the gear giver as the object text. Now, you can change this to your liking. So if I wanted to say get knife, as you know, for proximity prompt, there's two types of text. This is going to say get knife. Now, you can um, change the whole duration to whatever you'd like. I have it at one. You could use the keyboard. You know, you can change it to how it is on a... Um, gamepad um, whatever you like proximity prompts are amazing so yes this does work for xbox mobile pc everything 
So in here is the script. Now, since I did quickly just change this action text, we're gonna move this real quick already to get knife and then, uh, oh wait, so yeah, remove knife just so we can change this real quick for us. Um, and then uh, we'll just say get knife. So how this works, we have the insert service. We have a debounce, the proximity, the asset ID, and then we have a local variable called gear. So this debounce is gonna help us check if the person already got the gear or not. So when the proximity gets triggered, we're going to check if the debounce is false, which is automatically going to be basically as in saying we're going to be uh, giving the gear right here. So we do that local variable gear and we equal it to insert service load asset asset ID dot value. So this asset ID right here, we're going to grab that value, use the insert service, and we're going to basically check it is a backpack item. And then we're going to set that parent to our player dot backpack as in saying the player's backpack. Then we're going to set the action text to remove knife and debounce equals true. So now when we go back into it, it will say like when we go in, once we get it, it will say remove knife. And once this debounce is true, which now we're going to check again, it's not going to be set to true. That's going to be the else statement right here. We are going to check inside the player's backpack and see if they have this tool and it is the name of this gear. Now this local gear variable helps us because it's like a global one. So if we were to do it in this in here, like local gear in here, it wouldn't be able to check in, in this one. So that's why we kind of put it up here. It's a if statement. I mean, it's a local variable that we want it to be known everywhere. So right here, we're going to check if it's in the backpack of the player. And if it is, we're going to destroy it. Now, this way of doing this, this is the non-equipped tools in inventory. So we're basically checking their whole inventory. When a character, the person, equips a tool, it actually gets put into the parent of the character. It's kind of weird. I honestly did not know this, but... So what we're doing here is we're checking in their backpack. So if it's unequipped, we're just gonna remove it. But if it's equipped, it's gonna be in the player.character parent. So we're gonna destroy that as well. So we're basically destroying them from their backpacks and we're gonna set it back to get knife and debounce equals false. So that is about it. Um, I will show you exactly what I mean by this. Um, pretty simple actually, you guys. Um, I made this in just a few minutes. Someone actually DM me on Twitter and I got confused with the request. But as you can tell, we have get knife get gear so once i get the knife um it is going to give us the asset id and there we go we have the knife it is ready for us um i don't know really how this bombos knife works but as you can tell it's like this um and so if i hit remove knife uh you should be able to remove it and you can get it again and this one is the other sword i already automatically did for you guys um and then let's say i want to get the knife you know i got the knife right here um remove gear it is going to remove that gear so you know really simple stuff you guys but um and if you do reset when you have the gear it's gonna still say remove knife but once you remove it like if i just do this and then it's gonna say remove knife already when you die i'll even show you um it's actually just gonna do that debounce again so you're gonna have to just click it twice um it's kind of weird how that works i just you know that's just how it's scripted so as you can tell it's gonna say remove knife but then i can just get it one more time and there we go yeah so i hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial if you did feel free to comment like subscribe and share um now if you actually want to turn this into a hat accessory kind of thing i'll probably make another video on it this was just a simple tutorial on gears because you can actually put this into a lot of games um tycoons for one thing um this is actually an easier way of doing this for the tycoon givers uh, i might actually configure that and put that into mine so let me know what you guys think I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.